Hey everyone, and welcome to the 16th tutorial on my Launchpad tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to use all the knowledge we learned up until now in order to create a fully finished project and share it with the world. I've loaded up one of my old chain-based project files in here, and I'm going to show you how you can finish up your project and prepare it for sharing. Let's start with the connection between the samples and the lights tracks. Normally, to use both, you would have to arm both of them. But we can do better than this. If we set the second track's monitor to in, it's always going to listen to the input, no matter if we've armed it or not. To make sure that we're not getting lights when our samples track is unarmed, however, we will only take the input from our samples track. And now we only get light feedback when the samples track is armed. Next, you want to remove the sampling process from your project file. This is one of the easiest things to do. You just delete your audio tracks and you're done. Next, I'm going to talk about making the tutorial. If you can play your project well enough, usually you can just record yourself playing it and then quantize your recorded performance. But if you're not, you can draw in the notes similarly to how we used to draw in light effects. There's a small segment missing here at the end which I'm going to draw in right now. There's a small segment missing at the end of this tutorial media clip which I'm going to draw in right now. After the right-hand segment, I can separately join the left-hand segment. And now if I play this back... And now as you've noticed, this tutorial works with the light effects. So if I play it, I get light effect feedback on my other side. In order to get single color LEDs, we look at our lights track and we turn off the main MIDI effect track. And now we should get only single color light effects. Next we're going to learn how to automatically swap the pages in the tutorial. You'll notice that we cannot even draw in the page buttons, because the MIDI map takes precedence over the node. What we need to do instead is use these automations in order to move the chain selector value to a different one at the correct time. Navigate to your chain selector and select Show Automation. You should also do this for your lights track. And now you can draw points and lines like the graph of a function. So if I need to swap the page over to page 2 at this point, I would make a point here, make another point here, and then move this point up to page 1, and then just pull it over to the left to make sure that the value change happens immediately. You should do the same for the lights track. And now if I play this segment... A page switch has happened. Now, if you decide to change the page manually, your chain selector automation will turn gray and won't work anymore. This is because you're now manually controlling about your page buttons. To restore the automation, click the little orange button at the top. Other than that, you can also add a small signature to your project file. I like to put it in the scene slot under the master track. And then, when you're done, you want to click File, Collect All and Save. This will make sure that all of the files that are outside your project folder are copied and collected inside of your project folder, so that you can neatly just zip the project folder and share it over to the world. You can also get rid of unnecessary files in order to reduce file size. Go into File, Manage Files, Manage Project, and then open up Unused Files. This will show you all of the unused files that exist inside of your project file. You can now click on each of these categories and delete all of the files that are unnecessary. In the end, you should be left with no unused media files in the project and no external files. All of the files used are going to be contained within your project files folder. And now from here, you can compress your project into a zip or R file, and now you can upload it to anyone and they will be able to play it without any issues. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about it, please comment and I'll answer as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.